Chandler, in a game like that, when, when the offense is kind of struggling to get something going, how, how uplifting is it when that defense is kind of holding the line and, and keeping you all in the game, giving you that opportunity to make a big play? It's truly encouraging to have a defense like that because you always know you're one play away. Um, you know, 17-7 for the majority of the game, and we just we were dropping the ball. You know, we had some drops, you know, interception. Um, you know, three and outs, uh, like Coach Bowden said. So with, with our defense playing the way they play, it kept us in the game, kept us involved, kept kept faith within our team. Being the leader of the team and at halftime being down by 10, what did you tell your team to keep them going, keep them encouraged, to flip the script in the second half? Uh, just, just to focus and play our game because all it takes is one play for us to get rolling. Once we're rolling, nobody can stop us. And I truly honestly believe that. Everybody in this building believes that. So just keeping faith and making sure that we're doing the little things right because it was, I mean, there's a couple of plays. If it goes our way, or it's a completely different ball game. Howell is a guy that I kept hearing about in the preseason. I think you even mentioned him a couple of times to me, but we kind of got to finally see him uh, do his thing. And I how, how big a weapon is he? Uh, you know, it's just part of the receiving core. Yeah, definitely. Tyrone's a special talent, um, as well as the rest of the receiving core. But it, it was Tyrone's night. You know, he had that big run off of that post route. I mean, I, I thought he was going to score. So. Probably joke with him a little bit off of that because I thought he could have dove in. But, you know, he made some really tough catches. Uh, it's a really tough back shoulder. Um, you know, the, their defensive backs are really handsy, like to grab a lot. So he's very tough and physical. And uh, that's something I love about him. Coach Bowden said the 2012 team being here for the reunion, that was kind of the benchmark that he wants to get to. Do you have any interaction with Colton Browning and words of wisdom they gave you? Um, I, I wasn't able to talk to Colton Browning today. Um, I really hope to, but. Uh, I'll probably catch him uh, another time, or if he's probably still here, I'll probably talk to him definitely. Pretty good way to kick off Sunbelt play. How do you feel going off the rest of the season? Um, this is definitely a big win. It's a sigh of relief because this is a rivalry game, and it's a game that ULM ha really, we haven't won in five years. But um, going forward, Arkansas State has been nearly 10 years since we've won that game. So um, enjoying tonight. You know, Coach Kubik has a 24-hour rule for the offense. Uh, get better tomorrow, watching film and finish, practice and uh, getting ready for Arkansas State. This being a rivalry game, did this win feel a lot more, or this win mean a lot more to you than other ones? Oh, most definitely, because this, this is bragging rights for, this, for the state uh, championship of Louisiana for the Sun Belt, like Coach Bob says. So for the whole year, we have bragging rights. And it, it, it just means more, especially since we haven't won in so long. It's great for our community. It's great for players here now in the past. And like those older guys like Zach Jackson, um, who's been here his entire career. I mean, I believe this is the first time he's beat him. So, it, I mean, I went to high school with him, so I know it means a lot to him. Oh, uh, well, basically, I mean, the touchdown run was really the O-line. All I did was press my landmark. The O-line been working their tail off all year. So it was just a moment to just keep throwing the jabs. And we were just been throwing jabs all week. And the O-line took care of everything, and I just ran the ball up the middle of the field. So I appreciate all five of them guys for making it possible for me to even do that. Had a real uphill battle there against Alabama, against Texas. How did that really set the stage to allow you to, as you go into conference play, really kind of play at that level? Well, I feel like it was, it was great for us as a team because it built character for us. A lot of us had to come together. We were either going fight or quit, and that's our motto around here. So. It built a lot of us to keep going, and we kept fighting. And, and now we got a long season ahead of us. We still got eight games. So we weren't nervous or we wasn't um, upset or sad. So we just kept working, doing the basic thing to win. Just practice on Monday, practice on Tuesday, practice on Wednesday, and just keep it rolling. Beating ULL for the first time in five years, as a player, how did that feel when that clock hit zero? I mean, it's amazing just because all the, all the work and effort we put in and just the city, just having a city of Moreau behind us. Having the fans out there, the crowd, the students supporting us, all the faculty, having the 2012 team here, it just was set up for us to just be successful. So we just, honestly, it's, a, it's something that is great. You know, we're going to have fun tonight, high five and clap around hands. But, you know, we, it's still, it's only week four now. So we still got a lot ahead of us. Come in, watch the field tomorrow and get better. What did uh, Coach Bowden tell you at halftime that really flipped the script in the second half? Honestly, just keep going. Because like I said, like, no one was upset, no one was, we just, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. The way the conference worked, it's going to be four quarters every time, and we like four quarters. Four quarter games is what we do. So, I mean, we just kept going, keep fighting, and everything take care of itself.
all wins of the ballot era have been at home. What's it take to kind of get over that next obstacle of winning on the road as you go to Arkansas State this week? I mean, honestly, it's just week by week. Um, we just got to come out. We came out strong. Like, most time we start out slow. Today is just coming as a team. A lot of us are we're new together. We're gelling together. So now it's just a camaraderie of us together. So we just got to keep going. I feel like we're going to take it day by day, week by week. We're going to be good. We're going to be great.